Master the twist. Unraveling phrasal verbs with turn. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning journey. Today we're taking a closer look at a fascinating and incredibly useful aspect of the English language. Phrasal verbs with turn. These tiny word combinations can greatly enrich your English expression and take your language skills to the next level. So, let's get started. Phrasal verbs are a combination of words that act as a single verb. Our focus today, the verb, turn, when paired with prepositions or adverbs, can create entirely new meanings. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Turn on, to start or activate something. 2. Turn off, to stop or deactivate something. 3. Turn up, to increase in intensity, to appear. 4. Turn down, to decrease in intensity, to reject an offer. 5. Turn around, to change direction, to improve. Remember, understanding these verbs requires practice, so don't be afraid to use them in your everyday conversations or writing. To truly master these phrasal verbs, we need to understand them in different contexts. This is because the meaning of a phrasal verb can change depending on the situation. For instance, turn up could mean increasing the volume of your radio, but it could also refer to a friend who unexpectedly shows up at your party. The best way to master these phrasal verbs is to practice, practice, practice. Use them in sentences or try to incorporate them into your daily conversations. Here's a tip. Creating sentences that relate to your personal life or experiences can help remember their usage better. One common mistake learners often make is separating the phrasal verb when it shouldn't be. For example, saying, turn it off the light, instead of, turn off the light. Remember, some phrasal verbs can be separated by a pronoun or noun, turn the light off, but others cannot. Keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're now feeling more confident about using phrasal verbs with turn. Remember, it's all about understanding the context and practicing regularly. Keep at it and you'll soon master the twist of these turning phrases. Until next time, keep learning, and stay curious.